Welcome back to my channel, everybody. I'm going to be showing y'all today how to incorporate sea moss into your ingredients. Today, we are going to be making hamburger buns. And I'm going to show y'all how to turn sea moss into a rising agent, which means you do not have to put any yeast in your bread, anything like that. So right here, I have some sea moss, some Perrier water, and you're going to need some sea salt. This is the three ingredients you're going to need to create the rice in the bread. So over here is the ingredients. This is what you're going to need. Some white spelt flour, some crushed rosemary, some basil, onion powder. This is optional. Cayenne pepper. You don't have to put that in. Dill weed. And then I have some annatal seed oil. This is grape seed oil. And this oil gives the food uh, a coloring. And this is what it is. It's annatal seeds. You just put a little bit of that in the jar and put some oil in there. And you just let it sit. And it gives the food a, a really nice color. So I'm going to get all the ingredients in the bowl and then we're going to start mixing and making these hamburger buns. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So in the bowl, I have two cups of flour. I already um, measured it. And right here, I have one tablespoon of I'm going to put one tablespoon of sea moss in here. Let's get one tablespoon. I'm going to put that in. And can we going to use like one, I'm going to eyeball this, but it's like a teaspoon of sea salt, like a teaspoon, because you don't want your bread to be that salty. And then you want to eyeball the Perrier water, you want to add it, you know, you don't want to add it all at one time. So when I do the Perrier water, as we go along, let me put the other spices, rosemary. And I use like a half a teaspoon of rosemary. And we have our basil. We're going to season our bread. Hamburger buns. We got some cayenne pepper here. And like I said, this is optional. You don't have to use cayenne pepper. Onion powder. And we're going to put our dill weed in here. You're going to need like two tablespoons of oil. And I'm going to eyeball this. Because once you start mixing it, you'll be able to tell if you need a little bit more water, if you need a little bit more oil. Okay, so obviously I need both hands to get this all mixed up and then I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So right here, I formed it into a ball. It's all mixed together. And you want to have a little bit oil on the side right here because you want to continue to mix this. You want to continue to roll and get all the ingredients all incorporated into your dough. So I'm going to put a little bit oil on my hands so the dough don't stick to my hands. And you want to use your, you can use your fist to get those ingredients in there and you want to do this for about like five minutes and keep but you want to oil your hands so that it don't stick to your hands keep your hands oil so the dough don't stick okay i'm gonna finish getting this all um, mixed in and i'll be right back okay i'm back i just 
added a little bit more flour, like a tablespoon. Just when the dough starts getting sticky, you just add a little flour to it so it don't be too sticky. I'm gonna put all the um, measurements in the description box. But like I said, for the Perrier water and the oil, you have to eyeball it and then, you know, get it to, you know, like a piece of dough texture. You you um, just keep going until you um, get it into, and then you don't want it to be, you know, sticking. If it's sticking to your hand, just put some oil on your hand. And if it's too wet, you just add a little bit more flour. That's all you have to do and just keep doing that. And you want to just see how it's starting to get a little... It's not sticking to my hands at all. See that? It's not sticking to my hands. If it starts sticking, I just put a teeny bit of flour. Just dust it with a little bit of flour. You don't put a lot of flour. Okay. So we're going to let that sit. We're going to let this sit. Look how, look how that is. Look how spongy that is. Y'all see that? Okay, I'm back. Hamburger buns are ready to go in the oven. Make sure your oven is set on 350. Oven is nice and warm. We're going to put this in the oven. Let that go for about these two back here are going to be like flatbreads and these going to be the hamburger buns. So we're going to let that go for about 10, 15 minutes. And I'm going to go, I'm going to check it after that and see how it's doing. But it depends, it varies um, on when it'll be done, depending on how big your buns is. If you make them small, like these back here will be done sooner than these up here. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. Look at those buns. I took these out because those were done really fast. Those were the flatbread ones. But I'm about to take these out now. And it's been 10 minutes, so... I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and I'll be right at our buns cool off. Look at those buns. I'm back. Our buns have cooled off. So now I'm gonna toast. I have some earth balanced soy free vegan butter. I already cut this. See, look at them. I'm going to toast this a little bit. Okay, I'm going to get that toasted and I'll be right back. Hey, okay, I'm back. Now I'm about to show y'all how to put together a delicious burger with homemade unleavened bread hamburger bun. I'll show y'all in another video how I did my veggie burger, mushroom burgers. I'll show y'all that in another video. And this is some sea moss uh, burger sauce. But first, we're going to put our sauce on here. Now we're going to put some sauce on here. We're going to put our tomatoes. And then we're going to put a little bell peppers on here. And there you have it, a delicious mushroom veggie burger, homemade burger bun with some pickles on the side. All right, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, I'll be back to show y'all how to make these delicious burgers and also the Seamoss burger sauce. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.